Transformers, Horror of Cybertron Trilogy, Chapter 3, Kingdom, is out on Netflix. And this is the final chapter of the War of Cybertron Trilogy. So let's talk about it. In the series, so in the series, the Autobots and the Decepticons both crash land on Earth. Well, they, cr they crash land on Earth into the jungle or wild, whatever you want to call it. But mostly the jungle. And um, the Autobot and the Autobots meet them. And, and also we get to meet our beloved, our beloved favorite Beast Wars characters. The Maximals and the Predacons. So the Autobots team up with the Maximals. The Decepticons team up with the Predacons. And um and and also they're both on and, and and um and they're on the search for the missing oh and the Decepticons and the Decepticons and the and the Predacons are a search is on a search for this missing O Spark and the Autobots and the Maximals must work together to stop the Predacons and the Decepticons from finding the missing O Spark and now we got our series that I freaking love I was really looking forward to seeing this of watching this is because um the reason why I was looking forward to watching this is because this is a crossover between this is a crossover between G1 and Beast Wars and I really enjoy what's really cool about it that we get to see our our uh, our Beast Wars characters that we that most of you Beast Wars fans known and love way back since the 90s um I was and also the reason why I was looking forward to watching this is because um and also the reason why I was looking forward to watching it is because I you know I got myself into Beast Wars and saying, you know what, I think I'm gonna watch Beast Wars as well. Um but now now we have a crossover, but I'm, and now now we have a crossover between G one and Beast Wars all at once. Now we, now the Autobots and Maximals, the Decepticons and Predacons. That's really cool. And what's really cool about it is um that we get to see our Beast Wars characters. That's really nice. Well, let's talk about the characters. Now we all know the Autobots. The Autobots and the Decepticons are back from from Earth from are back from Siege and Earthrise on Netflix. It's great to see them again after after the events of Siege and Earthrise. That's out on Netflix. It's great to see Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, Megatron, Starscream, and some other Autobots, Decepticons, and also. They get to meet the Maximals and the Predacons. Now, I do want to say the Maximals in here are awesome. I love the Maximals. It's great to see them again after all these, after a long, long time. I know a lot of Beast Wars fans are, we're really excited to see the Maximals in this series, including the Predacons themselves. And what's really cool about it, now I want to talk about the Max, now I do want to talk about the Maximals. Now, with Optimus Primal, I'm gonna talk about Optimus Primal first because Optimus Primal has a really good. I think his voice. I think the act, the voice acting looks. In, I think I like the voice acting of Optimus Primal, but I was like, well, I wish they brought the the original voice actor back, Gary Chalk. Gary Chalk, who those people never heard of him. This is this is Gary Chalk who voiced Optimus Primal in the original Beast Wars cartoon. Even though even though I heard they're gonna have Ron Perlman. Even though I heard they're gonna have um Von Perlman from from Hellboy voicing Optimus Primal in Transformers Rise of the Beast. And then I said to myself, wait a second, y'all gonna get Hellboy? So y'all getting Hellboy playing Optimus Primal? Okay. Okay, the reason why they want to put Von Perlman as Optimus Primal in Rise of the Beast is because Optimus Primal Voiced um Optim I'm sorry is because Von Perlman voiced Optimus Primal I believe in the Prime trilogy as well um and now he's returning back as Optimus Primal in Transformers Rise of the Beast that's cool but I wish they bought the original I wish they put in the original voice actor yeah but I wish I think the original I think the I think the voice actor for Optimus Primal didn't bother me I think I'm okay with it but I'm gonna talk about let's talk about um what's his name. <clears throat> Let's start, let's talk about um Cheetor. Now Cheetor, I'm okay with I think I'm okay with the voice acting for Cheetor. It doesn't he don't it don't really bother me all that much. I think Cheetor I wish that I don't know what happened to the original voice actor for Cheetor. Um I don't know if he's still I don't know if he's still around or not, but I wish I think the original I think that this this voice acting for Cheetor is fine. But with um now with um well, with um, 
with um with Rat Trap, he does sound like Rat Trap to my opinion. I think the original, I think this voice actor sounds a little bit like Rat Trap, and I was like, eh, he kind of does, but not even close, not even close. Yeah, not even close though. But um, I think Rat Trap voice acting is cool. It's fine. But I'm gonna talk about. Let's talk about Tigatron now. I do love. I do like Tigatron now. Tigatron is a cool character, but I do. I don't even like the head sculpt all that much. I think the head sculpt kind of a little bit copied off of Cheetor in the series, and I was just like, yeah, they kind of. I think he copied off of Cheetor's head sculpt from the series. I think they could have done it a lot better. Um, and with um. Uh, with, with, and speaking of Tigatron, we are coming out with a Tigatron, a Tigatron Kingdom. Now we are coming out with a Tigatron figure from Transformers Kingdom, which I'm so excited. I did see a review about it. I saw a review for for King for Transformers Kingdom Tigatron, the figure itself, and I was just like, I'm so excited to get this. And I know a lot. I think most of the Beast Wars fans are also excited to get Tigatron as a Kingdom figure. But as a character in the cartoon, in, in, I'm sorry, in the character, as a character from the Kingdom Netflix series, I think, I think, I, at least they gave him the right color scheme, because, you know, at least they gave him the, his original, his original color scheme from the Beast Wars cartoon. But my only issue is his head, like I told you, his head sculpt could have been better. They could have made the head sculpt like his accurate, his accurate Beast Wars, um, head sculpt self or something like that. But I think they could have done something better with him. But I think he looks cool. Now with the Predacons, on the other hand, um, we do have um, Black Arachnia. We do have Dinobot. And we do have, um, 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 who's the other one? Let me think. Mega Beast Wars Megatron. Now, we at least the Predacons are in here. Now let's talk about Megatron. I, when I heard Megatron's voice, I was just like, what in the world? Megatron sounds young in here, and when I when I heard that voice out of out of that Beast Wars Megatron in in the Nef in the Kingdom Netflix series, I said to myself, you know what? I think this Megatron, the voice acting for him, I think the voice acting for for that Beast Wars Megatron right now looks just just looks not good. I'm just not really happy of what the voice acting looks like for the Beast Wars Megatron. They could have got someone a little bit older. They could have got someone a little bit older, let's say someone in their 40s or something, to voice Optimus. I'm not Optimus Prime. I'm sorry, Mega the Beast Wars Megatron. They could have done that, but they've got someone young, a little bit young, to voice um the Beast Wars Megatron. And then I was just like, okay, I like I like the design and everything. I like the way he has his um his Beast Wars accurate self, but. I think his voice acting could have been better. That's all I know. With Black Aragnia, I'm gonna talk now. With Black Aragnia, I'm okay with the with Black Aragnia, um voice acting. I mean, I'm I'm okay with it. I mean, I like I said, I I actually wish they bought the original voice actors back for this net for this Kingdom Netflix series, but then nothing. But I think Black Aragnia's voice acting is okay. And with with um with Dinobot, Dinobot. A little bit sounds like Dinobot, and I was just like, yeah, he kind of sounds like a little bit like Dinobot from Transformers Beast Wars, the actual series. But but in this, I think his voice acting is fine. Yeah, that's all I know. But and and also, I think that's. But everything else, I think with everything else, all I know is the Maximals and the Predacons are in, the Maximals and the Predacons, and even though. And even though um, they did put Air Razor in here, even though I heard, even though I knew she was going to be in here, Air Razor is actually, I think her voice acting is okay. I, I mean, I'm okay with her voice acting, but like I said, I wish they bought the original voice actors back for this series. I mean, that would have been a, a lot more better. But it, that's all I know. But it's great, to see, like I said, it's great to see the Beast Wars characters again after a, a while now. But everything else, that's it. But the Autobots, the Autobots, the Autobots, we st they bought the they bought the the same voice actors back from from Siege and Earthrise, and I was like, wait, I was expect even though even though I I was just like I actually knew they weren't gonna bring Peter Cullen back as Optimus Prime in the War of Cybertron trilogy. Siege Earthrise with Earthrise, I I knew they weren't gonna bring him back with um 
with uh, Kingdom, I knew they were gonna they weren't gonna bring him back e at all, and I was just like, okay, they're probably just gonna put him in Transformers, even though Peter Cullen is gonna be in Transformers: Rise of the Beast, voicing Optimus Prime for voice acting duties. That's that's kind of cool, but it's great to see him as Optimus Prime. We might see. Hopefully, they'll keep him. They I hope they do pay for Peter Cullen for Transformers: Rise of the Beast. I hope they keep him throughout the entire time, throughout the entire movie. I hope. Let's see what happens. But I think Transformers Kingdom, on my opinion, the Autobots, it's great to see the Autobots and Decepticons once again after the events of Siege and Earthrise on Netflix. And we get and it's great to see the Beast Wars characters again after a while after like a good long while now, I guess. But I think the animation, every time I every time I watch the trailer, all you all I can all you can see is a Netflix anime series or something like that and i'm just like it doesn't look like anime it looks like something out of cg a little bit a little bit more less like a little bit more less cgi more animation but i think the animation looks incredible i think i think they did a really good job with the animation like they always do um it's great and also what's really cool i think the animation looks incredible like they did with the other like they did with earthrise and siege i think they did a good job with the animation itself and even though the action sequences in here are incredible i love the action sequences but some of the but i love the action sequences but sometimes some of the action scenes just like goes on to another scene and then gets back to the action sequences i'm just like no i'm just like no we need to focus on that action scene a little bit more the action scene just focus on the action scene and finish and get to the next and get to the next scene i think they could have done that and even though and also, too, Vi I know Vinox is also in here as well. I like Vinox's voice acting, which I, f I forgot about Vinox. And um, with um, with everything else, I think it's really cool. I think this is, even though this is the last time that we are going to get a chance to see War of Cybertron trilogy, because this is the final chapter of the War of Cybertron trilogy line, well, on Netflix. But it's great to see, on second... It's great to see our, like I said, it's great to see our Beast Wars characters again after a good long while. It's great to see a crossover between G1 and Beast Wars. And then, and I was just like, yeah, imagine that in real life. Imagine that in a live action movie or something. It might, even though it might happen in Transformers Rise of the Beast, even though we are going to have um, Autobots, Decepticons, Maximals and Predacons and Terracons in that move in the movie, and I'm so excited, and that's why I'm so excited for Rise of the Beast. But with with Kingdom on Netflix, I was really looking forward to watching it. I think they did a good job, but I think there's some stuff I did not like and some things I did like. But even though um, I'm, I think that's about it. There's not too much to say. I didn't want to give anything away at all or anything, but. I think that's about it for this for this um for this Netflix series for Transformers War of Cybertron Chapter Three Kingdom and I think that's about it. So that's about it for this. So be sure to like, subscribe, press notification button, follow me, follow me on Instagram and comment down below. And I'll see you in my next video. And thank you for watching.